Hey everyone, we're here with Glory Fanta, one of my mastermind students. She's been working with me for about a year now and I uh, got some pretty cool stuff she's gotten done. She actually uh, worked with us for three weeks and you got your first deal, correct? Correct. <laughs> it was actually so fast that Glory wasn't even prepared to buy it because she wanted to buy it as a rehab and it ended up selling to me. It sold to me for $8,500 assignment fee, which was freaking awesome, right? That was awesome. Like, yeah. Three weeks, three weeks in, made all your money back you paid to be in the program that quick. But uh, then I rehabbed it and just sold it recently, just settled the other day for $380,000. And wow. I, and which was 30K more than we originally expected. So uh, it would have been a good deal for you. But the good news is that wasn't the last deal she found. Glory, tell me a little bit about when we met each other, you had already been working with another coach for a few years and he was a good guy and everything was working out, but you just weren't getting the deals you weren't. What do you feel like was the big difference when you started, when you got in the mastermind? What was that shift that helped you go from like what wasn't working to like getting a deal within three weeks and then getting you know a bunch of other deals over the coming months? I want to first start by thanking you for giving me the opportunity to share this, my real estate journey with you and with any other person who is interested. My real estate journey has been a little bit longer than what it was really supposed to be, but it is what it is. This group is different from the other groups in that uh, it has more structure. It is just structured in a way that the steps are already there for you to follow. And uh, it's almost, if you follow the steps, it's almost impossible not to succeed. You know, it's almost impossible if you just follow the steps. You have tools that are already designed, simple, easy to use tools, easy to use steps. All you need to do is to follow. And also this group is being created from a positive point. All the students in the class are very positive, very supportive even if somebody is having a bad day a bad deal or whatever they are very supportive of each other and when you have a a place that you can be vulnerable and not being judged that is a very good place to be because we are learning these things and we get into situations a lot of unwanted situations you just want somewhere that you can express it and not be judged also this group the fact that we hold we talk like we hold our meetings every is it twice a week yeah twice and a week. we a lot of times we have just like open forum people just talk you know they are not like always specific all the time sometimes we come to class and we just talk about experiences when people share those experiences other students they learn from it because it's not everything that the coach knows. The coach can learn from the students too. So the fact that we have those open forums is really good. Also, the group is structured in a way that is, is flexible. You, at this, when you start with a program, you can still do your full-time job and still do the things you get to do to succeed is because it's flexible. Even if you miss a class, it's not the end of the world. It's recorded. You come and you still see everything. And if you want to search the MLS, you can search in the night, morning or day, you know, so flexible. That's why I say it's, it's designed in a way that it's impossible to fail. <laughs> I mean, well, you have a you have a full time job. You're a nurse, and um, so you knew nothing about construction before this, right? It was pretty new for you. How many kids do you have? Do you have any four? Uh, I have four, and one older oh. one. One makes it five. Five. So with five a husband, kids. six. <laughs> Six, six kids or five kids with a husband, <laughs> with a husband. So five and a half. Uh, and then you've got uh, you have a full time job, but you've still been able to do this and really in a big way, too. You've been in the program a while, but you got a result in three weeks. But then I think it took another month or so. You found another deal and uh, then you had a wholesale deal. And uh, right now you're at three deals, correct? That you had yeah. in total. Yes. You know, you're yeah. rehabbing one though. The most important piece is you actually got your first rehab. And when you came into the program, you didn't have the money to do that rehab, but we were able to show you how to kind of, you know, talk to people, raise the capital, go to a lender and get approved. And the reason I know that you're able to get approved, and I and I hope anyone listening would understand this, is that when you understand the math and the numbers and you know your deal lenders want to lend to you, don't they? They're like, they kind of, yes. like, yeah, they feel comfortable that their money is going to be safe with Glory. <laughs> Well, you're doing your rehab now and you're getting it done. So that's nice. Yeah. Um, uh, I think that not having the money is, this is like really the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, not having money to do the rehab is huge. Like, I think everybody has that problem. Yes, you need money. for Even if you're using hard money loan, you need money for closing costs. You need money, uh, down payment. You need, you need money to start a rehab. You need money. You can't escape money. Yeah. So to me, this money piece of it really depends on how badly you want this thing get done. Mm-hmm. If you really want to get it done, you will look for that money. Somebody like me, it was like, okay, either I do this rehab or I die. Mm-hmm. There was no wiggle room. Either I do it or die. And I'm not ready to die. I have family. So <laughs> there, there was just no wiggle room. I have to do it. So I start talking to different hard money lenders. Like the person that I actually worked with most and we went for months and he wanted to lend to me when it came down to lending, he did not. Yeah. He really did not. I don't know. But when you have a deal, the money somehow follow. But you it still does. need to yeah, you still need to come up with the rest of the money. So what I thought was really awesome too, and uh, I know I told them about the fact that I bought your first deal, but let's talk a little bit about why I bought the first deal. It wasn't just because I like to buy my students' <laughs> deals. Glory had a deal. She was like, I'm not sure about the money. And I was like, you know what, Glory, if just put it under contract, do it this way. And if somehow you can't get the money, I'll go and buy it from you. And, you know, take a couple of weeks, see if you can get your money together and see if your person will perform. And you found out they were not, they said they would perform, but when the time came, they didn't. And instead of you losing your deposit, instead you were able to turn that around and make 8,500 bucks. And honestly, if I wouldn't have done it, some other person in the mastermind likely would have done it for you. So it's pretty cool when you're working out the details of your financing and your money to have a safety blanket of someone who will take what would have been a loss of a deposit and turn it into an $8,500 win. And I love that we were able to do that. And Honestly, I've never even thought of doing it until you. I just like, you know, I knew you had this deal and I just wanted to help. And I was like, I don't want to see her miss out on it. And we just like on the spot thought of it. I'd never actually done that with anyone. Now I'm kind of like, well, I should do it with every student if I can. Uh, Just because I like, it's such a great thing for you to have. It's like, it's basically a safety net. Yes, it's it's a safety net. The group is a safety net because it's a group of investors. It's a group of people looking for houses to buy every day. So if you have a deal and the numbers look right, you already have the market right there. You don't even have to go marketing the deal because another student will buy it. If not, the coach will buy it. And in my situation, I thought I was ready. So I spoke to a friend who agreed to bring up this money so that we, we do this deal, like bring the money that we we'll use for the closing costs and all what it takes to, to acquire the deal. So when it came down to it, he backed off without any real explanation. We were standing there waiting for him, waiting. He called and I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Up to today, he has not come. He's still not come like <laughs> six months ago. Yeah. But that, that itself, to me, was good. It was good because it made me now to know that if I have to do this thing, I have to really be serious about doing it. I have to look for ways I can come up with this money without depending on people from on my first deal. I really do not completely 100% blame the guy because... I am still learning and nobody really wants to invest like $50,000 for somebody to come and be learning with it. You know, so Mm -hmm. when I looked at it, I'm like, maybe if it was me, I will not do it either. Yeah. Well, you also, when you did do your deals a couple months later, you had done a wholesale deal, you wholesale that one, you got another deal. And then you, then you ended up doing a flip like a couple months later, but you were more confident then. And would you, th- what would you say like your confidence in the numbers and, you know, having all these tools that you're using, do you feel like that made you like more safe? Like you feel like the people who lent to you would actually trust that you more now? Yes. When you have your financing together, your confidence level just changes because now before you're putting in the offer, you know, it's like you trying an error. If they win, what do I do? But when you go in there to win, your language changed, everything changed because you know you have your money together. You're going in to win. If you're going into something to win, you win. If you're trying to see if you're going to win or not, it's a 50-50. That's how I will will really put it. If you're going in to win, you win. When that guy decided not to come up with the money, I, and now I know, okay, I have to come up with this money somehow. I yeah. started searching more. I started talking to other people more. I started looking at other avenues where I can have money. I cut behind on my marketing a little bit. I was 
sending out mails. Not that it's a wrong thing, but I cut on that a little bit and did some free sources so that it can leave some money in my hands. Did you, uh, did you get your second deal from mail or did that your second deal came from mail, but then the other two came from free sources, right? Yes. That we taught you mm -hmm. how to find. So you got them on MLS and then wholesalers. So a lot of people mm -hmm. think, what do you say to people that think you can't get deals on the MLS or from wholesalers? And by the way, Glory is in PG County, which is a couple minutes out of DC. So a very, very highly competitive market. So I tell them they have to just keep searching. Like I really still look at it at a motivational standpoint how bad do you want this because if you really want something i was searching the mls like three four times a day mm -hmm. by the time the deal hits the market i'm looking at it going out there every day every day every day every day and i remember you kept telling me that there will be one time that those people who are buying those deals at a very high price so at one point their hands will be full mm -hmm. And I guess that's what happened. If you need 10 deals and you have all 10 deals, 11 deals, you will not get it. So I sure. got the 11 deal. That's it. That's <laughs> it. It's a numbers game, right? And you say something great, like you don't give up, you keep doing it, you work hard at it. But the secret that pulls all that together is that you followed the exact system that I gave you. Yep. You didn't veer off. You weren't like, hey, let me try it my way. You were like, Mike, I gave you a way. You followed it to the T. And then what I really respect about you is that you stuck with it until it worked because, well, it did work for you in three weeks, which I think is super quick. <laughs> and just for anyone listening, we have people that take three weeks and people take three months. And we don't think that one's better than the other, right? As long as you get the result and you're able to go from not being able to get deals to being to cracking the code where you know how to get deals. Every single student, once they get their first deal, they always get others. And now they now know how to turn on the faucet of get deal finding. And, we, you know, we're very difficult with this, right? Aren't you would say, I'm, as far as a coach, I'm tough about the deal being good. Oh, Lord, a lot. Two deals under contract and they were close. And me and her decided strategically instead of me trying to, you know, put her on Facebook and get a testimonial and say, look at this deal she found that wasn't really a deal. We gave them back, didn't we? And we were like, you know what? We're going to find something better because I hold everyone accountable, including myself when I'm buying my own deals and my students to find good deals that make sense and that we can have a consistent result with. And I, I don't think any other coach does that, but I, I do that because I really do commit to everyone and I want you guys to have, I want everyone to have good results. And I know if you go in and the numbers are kind of loose, it ain't going to work very well. When it comes to that, you are very hard on us on that. There was this one deal I got that was like, I think it was 125. That little house that has a big crack. I worked so hard for you to accept that deal. I went and did the drawings, took all the measurements. You said, no, I was like, this is impossible. <laughs> but the deal you have now I've actually seen and it's a really good deal and honestly I'm so glad that you didn't accept that deal and that you yes. stood the discipline right we the, I'm teaching you right from my playbook I've many years of taking the deal at 175 and taking not made money and when you're new and you're doing your first deal it's highly important that you stand and you have discipline and you fight hard to make sure your first deal has success because if that first deal gets done and you put a check in your pocket for 20 to 50 thousand dollars in my opinion that changes the, your financial you know landscape yeah. now yeah. that same thing happens and you do it and you make no money or you lose ten thousand you might be out the game and i don't want my students out the game i want you to have a great experience because i know if you make 30k you're going to be addicted to this and you're going to be a house flipper and you're <laughs> like all right let me do more like you've been doing right so you've been just you know you've done more deals after the first one worked and so anyhow that's just some stuff that i learned through the school of hard knocks of the learning to be very disciplined about not taking bad deals and I carry that same discipline for students and anyone else only because um, I feel like that's what you hired me for, right? You wanted me to help you do good deals. It made sense. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not push you into a crappy deal and then mm -hmm. you know, make nah. sure. And now, you know, you're actually really good yourself. When you bring stuff now, your numbers are spot on most of the time. And you know, they look really good. What's what we envision for every person who joins the mastermind is that it's, it's a five month program. Some people stay longer if they want, you can always extend and stay longer. But in that time, we, we want them to leave being very confident around it, analyzing deals, understanding numbers, being able to do layouts, the construction piece. Yeah. You just learn to be a house flipper, right? Glory, we're, if you were a zero as a house flipper when you came in where do you feel like you're at now on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> i was zero when I, when I came in i think i should be like uh oh, maybe a 50 right now but it's it's, it's did it's, you say a 50 it's, it was a one to ten not a 50 you can <laughs> i'm not a 50 <laughs> okay on a one to ten if i yes. was a zero i think i'm on a five right now 
It's fair. Yeah. That's a, and honestly, you know what? You probably are about a five. And what people don't know is that you only need to be a three or four to make a living in house flipping. But where oh. Glory is right now, she's going to make, she's making money and she'll continue to keep doing so. And if you keep evolving like you're doing, you keep learning and getting better over time and become a master at this and you get to a seven or eight, you're going to be in a, a bit in a class of your own because there's Whoa. so few people. Yeah. So few people get as good as you are, right? Everyone, like PG County, I can tell you, like what I'm hearing on the streets from everyone is there's no deals. There's yeah. no deals in PG County. And I'm like, well, yeah, there is. Because <laughs> not the, I have other students in the area and they're getting deals. I have students in San Diego, they're getting deals. So yeah, uh, that's they a really just cool need thing. to dig deep. And working yeah. with somebody like you, if somebody really, you do not need to, to have a prior construction knowledge to succeed. Because you have the tools that are needed. You, something like the, the like, is it a quick reno estimator that mm-hmm. makes you, like, within 10 minutes, you, you know a rough estimate of where you should be so that you know if it's, the deal makes sense or not. That, that is a very great tool so that it will help you to quickly eliminate. Because that is very important, being able to know that mm-hmm. it's not a good deal. That, you yeah. know, it's funny about that is uh, we, you know, we had a class just, uh, one of our calls just ended like an hour ago and Shauna, one of our students got her first deal. It's under contract and she did the quick rent estimator and it said 75K and on the class, we actually did a line item where we broke down all the details. It took us an hour total to do it. Like we really dug into the details of the budget, the scope of work. And when we were done, it came exactly at 75K. It, it was shocking. It's not always that perfect, but <laughs> it was shocking that it, it landed like within 300 bucks. Wow. And it took me an hour. She was able to do in 10 minutes. So that's the power of it, being able to walk through a house and estimate a budget and not use, you know, the gurus taught me that you just do $50 a square foot or 30 bucks. That doesn't work. I mean, you could be 30K off when you're using that system. This system works because um, this wasn't something we created to sell to people. We created it for my own business. So if it didn't work, I would be not in business. I'd be making a lot of bad decisions. So I, I use it every day too. And I know you use it and everyone else does. Glory, thank you so much. And now how happy are you overall that you joined the mastermind? <laughs> I am I am very happy that I joined the mastermind. I, I'm really very happy because you remember it was a very difficult decision for me to take because I was, you know, I've used a coach before and the results were not what I expected. What is different with you? It was really, really, really a good thing that I took the decision it has made this dream of mine to become reality. I was just dreaming of being investing in real estate. I dreamed about it for like, is it four years of just dreaming? So now my dreams are becoming a reality. Being in the group has given me the clear vision. It, it has given me, the vision is so clear. Now I know, I really do know. I don't know all, but I know at least how being a real estate investor, they, being a real estate investor is really like, you know, all the challenges, all the good, the bad, and the ugly. I think <laughs> I have experienced it somehow. And uh, I think that joining the group has really given me a clear path to my financial freedom because that is my goal. I need financial freedom. I cannot just keep doing the same old thing expecting it's, different results. This is the American dream, right? Are you going to, yeah. you, you plan on teaching the kids how to flip houses? Oh yeah. I am already oh. teaching them how to flip houses. Awesome. I go to Home Depot. I take them with me. We just go and look at stuff for like two hours and come back. <laughs> do they look pay attention or do they like it? I mean, because I know kids sometimes. They, they like it because they they don't have to stay with me. Like, they, I want them to stay with me, but they'll play around the house, go, come back, go, come back. And they keep asking me what I'm doing. I tell them, oh, I'm comparing prices. I need to know the prices because that's how I learn. You mm-hmm. know, you need to know what you are dealing with, know how much the things cost. So that when the contractors think that they can come and just bring, just say stuff, you know, not with me. <laughs> No, you're too smart for that, right? Yeah, I'm too, I'm way that's, too smart that's, for uh, that. <laughs> that is our number one core thing. If you take anything away from this time that we've talked with Glory is uh, if you want to be great at house flipping, you got to learn construction. It's going to require a little bit of learning. There's no, there's no magic pill. I wish there was, and believe me, if there was, I would take the magic pill, but uh, we're all finding and every student's work with me has found that if they're willing to put a little bit of work in, their rewards are huge. And the fact that like Glory is actually managing her rehab, you know, it's her first one and it's going, I would say it's going better than most people's go even when they've done 10 or 20, because a lot of 
times we think that people who've done 20 houses are getting done on budget and on time. What I found out through you know, coaching and teaching is that virtually no one's actually getting done on time and on budget. Everyone has just decided that construction is not a very important part of house flipping because so many gurus have said, oh, well, you just get a GC and, you know, you don't want to do that. That's not, that's beneath you, right? You, you're you're the deal finder. Yes, you are the deal finder, but you better make sure that all that energy you put into finding a good deal, you better make sure you get that rehab done well so you can actually collect the profits and, and uh, sell it quickly and make all those big bucks, right? That's Yeah. That's just, I wish there was an easier way, but uh, it is pretty easy once it's done. I mean, I, look, whatever we have to do to collect the big bucks, I'm happy to do it. I know you are. I'm, I know your kids will be one day. And I love that it's generational. Yeah, I love yeah, that, that it's going to it be is. something that's uh, for your family and getting them involved. I think that for me is a big part of why I love doing this mastermind. So thank and you. And when we are me. driving around, they, when they see like a bit of house, they're so excited. They'll be like, mommy, look at that house. Don't you think you should go buy that one? <laughs> It's probably like the mansion though, right? It's like you can't afford. It's like we don't know the one we buy is the ones that's like it looks, looks like it's all decorated for Halloween, but it's not actually. The haunted yeah, house. the the uh, I'm happy. I'm I'm actually happy I joined the group and you know it's a great group. Like I don't think there is any other group out there like this. I don't know, but it is really a great place to be. Well, yeah. thank you, and you've been a great part of it, and. The reason the group has been so amazing is people like you. So, Glory, thank you so much for being part of the group and still participating, helping other students and, and uh, you know, just doing a great job in general. And I'm so proud of you for all the work you've done and the houses you've gotten and you know, look very much uh, to our future of being, you know, working together and seeing your you grow is really empowering for me too. So thank you so much for all that. And I appreciate you sharing with everyone. I hope people got some good value from that. She gave, definitely dropped some good tips for you. Thank you, everyone. Glory, have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. welcome. See you guys. Yeah. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm.